Hello, your boxes. We are here with Laura Polvere. Hello, Laura. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, for all of the Eurovision fans that just joined us or who don't really know much about the Eurovision history, Laura here has a big track in Eurovision, having taken part in 2005, 2017, and we saw her last year in Estilal and this year in Finland's UMK. That's Laura. right. <laughs> And from last year to SLL to this year, Finland's national final, what make you, made you take this step? Uh, as I've been, you know, coming here since I was a kid, uh, I've had a lot of projects in Finland uh, regarding when I was the head of the Estonian Jazz Union. I've had a lot of like musical collaborations over here and I've been living here now for more than a year. I'm working as an HR at a local company. So it kind of... Uh, it just uh, popped in my head that why not as I'm a resident of, of Finland so it made me eligible for taking part in the competition. That's fantastic. How are you getting on with the language? I'm actually studying it while well, the Estonian and Finnish are very very similar so it's it's not that difficult to learn but there are some words which uh, they're the same but mean totally different for example the word bulma in Estonian it's the wedding but in Finnish it means trouble so, <laughs> so sometimes it's like if you listen to people talking and me using some words it's like what what did you mean <laughs> I got into trouble no I got married which I yeah, that's right. <laughs> maybe it will lead to the same thing who knows um do you notice any difference between the press election of uh, Estila and uh, UMK uh well the you mean like the process yes the process well the process in Estonia it's it's quite the same it's uh there's a jury uh like a professional jury who decides who gets to the semifinals but the the other difference is that we in well in Estonian they have uh, the semifinals but Finland that they only pick uh seven songs which get right to the final so this year it was 300 competitors and I got to the finals I I would even say that I'm now part of the six because Axel Gandranta already won last year and he got straight to the final so I'm I'm really happy and excited that um, and, and honored to be a part of it absolutely let's talk about your song play how did the process start with you um did you choose the song did you help write the song was the song given to you uh, it really started actually because uh, last year in 2020 in spring, I I was in the international jury for giving the points at Uemco in Tampere, and I really fell in love with the show, the production, all the people that are involved there, and so I I kind of thought why not to write a song to to the competition, and Garland Reisman, who is the producer of the song. Uh, he and uh, Reni Straume, a Latvian guide, had written the basis of the song at a song camp mm -hmm. uh, for a while ago, but uh, they didn't have a singer to sing it, they didn't have the melody, they didn't have like the whole song. So when I got into the play, to the play, then uh, we we got together i improvised because that's how i kind of create songs it's not for me that i have this concrete idea i have to i have to do this like i'm just thinking out some stuff and being spontaneous mm -hmm. and so that's how the melody and lyrics came out and um, well we were actually in the process of making my new album we had tons of songs to pick from and when when we got to the state with the song play, that it was kind of getting ready. I just knew it in my heart that this would be the one to send in for the UMCO. You wanna play, play, play like a better board game. Don't see it now, don't feel it now. So you should pray, pray, pray. It's the only good thing that you can do it now. It's fantastic because the song has definitely the the chorus that sticks to your head like, you can play 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 so i've been hearing the song on repeat because it's like i can't get that part out of my my brain <laughs> i'm sorry for that i have also some songs that are like do you know remember the songs i'm blue and dub and dee, da, yes. da. it's like when you hear that song again it's like oh my god 
<laughs> yeah, but the, the problem comes when your brain doesn't want to go above that uh, that um, those lines. Like it just automatically replaces it from the beginning. <laughs> that is right. Do you have a staging in mind for uh, play, or are you still working on it? We actually have been working on the staging and the whole show and everything since September. So I've had to be like shh uh, for for quite a bit of time about it. And mm -hmm. uh, we we have a plan. And there are some some issues we have to work with. We had two days ago the first stage rehearsal, uh, and. Um, I mean, we, we have the idea, but I am not allowed to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I have it written down on my computer that I, I can't tell. Uh, I, I'm saying that it it's uh, as it is like a storytelling song, then it's uh, due to that, it's not going to be, um, how do you say it? I mean, we want to keep the focus on the song and the lyrics because it's, uh, I mean, 2020 was a really rough year for everybody. Uh, according you know work relationship personal relationships so it's we just want to keep that in the song so it's uh, it's not going to be all about you know feathers and glitter and mm -hmm. so we, we don't we don't want to hide the the theme of the song with all of that but uh, I, I think it's going to be a fun show <laughs> oh i'm really looking forward to it i loved the purple jumpsuit you wear on your umk video Say it again. I loved the purple uh, jumpsuit. Oh, you I like the purple. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Cool. It, was re it looks really good with like the big um, ar armpits. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't yes. Know how yes. They like, they like the dragon kind of like uh, yes. imitation. Yeah. Thank you. I also liked it. And uh, I like that it, it, it's it been different every year from, as I, I always uh, think of the costume as uh, a very big part of the song. And mm -hmm. it's uh, it's not just about having a fun costume, but it has to be really related to the song. Like like last year at, at Esti Laul with Break Me, because it was mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of a darker side. And so it the week was kind of, it was like mandatory to wear black, but but for this yeah. one, the purple. It I, I also liked it how it how it was in the video. So thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, and I remember you wearing like very big boots last year. Yeah, high boots. Yes, yeah. So this mm -hmm. year there are gonna be short boots. Okay, I <laughs> take note. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, talking about you having already been to Eurovision, what would be your most fond memories of both times? As it was both times in Kiev, that was the, I think, the you know funniest thing <laughs> that <laughs> when we got to know that with Goit, we, we won the Esti Laul and I get to go to Kiev once again. So I told them right away that, oh, this is cool. I know all the good restaurants, all the good places to go to. <laughs> That's fantastic. You must have been the best tour guide for the, your whole delegation. <laughs> yes, I definitely was. And what else I remember what was fun? Mm, like living in a hotel over there, because um, like, like, you know, living in Estonia or living in Finland, uh, all the food, food things are very, very expensive. So mm -hmm. over there, if you went to a restaurant and you wanted to order something, then uh, we kind of got to order everything it was like you, ju you just ordered everything it was like and you you paid the sum of the restaurant bill and you were like i was really feeling that you know how how different are the uh, not the cultural sides but the economic sides mm -hmm. so it's it's not that yeah so we we just ordered ordered everything <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Not only a musical experience, but a culinary experience. Yes. <laughs> and totally. talking about Coit, he's also taking part this year in Esti Laul. How funny would it be that you would go to represent Finland and he would go to represent Estonia at the same time? I think that would be the funniest joke of the history, yes. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, because uh, uh, Coit's uh, wife is my makeup artist. So she's also she ha she did the makeup for the for the video of play, and will also do the stage makeup. So it's uh, it's very cool that we're kind of also working in a collaboration mm -hmm. with Goit this time as well. So Estonia and Finland seem to have like a very strong uh, bond in music and uh, in musical produ uh, pro productions. Yeah, that is true. That is totally true. Mm -hmm. So. 
after UMK, what is next for you? If you can tell us, uh, provided I think that you don't that you go to Eurovision or not. Well, I think that uh, the UMCO experience overall, it's its just uh, its a really exciting journey for me to be here, to share my music with other people. I've been i have been here for a long time, but to get like this uh, bigger opportunity and bigger space staging, it's, it's, it's really nice. And a lot of people have, you know, welcomed me in a, in a warm way. And it's uh, and afterwards, I'm 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 living here, and I'm gonna be still living here after the Wimko, and I hope to get uh, a lot of connections here and to to produce more music and and inspire people with that because I think we're living at this time that though Corona has uh, separated all of us, then uh, I'm glad that the computer was and uh, internet was invented before that, before Corona and we get to be connected. <laughs> so it's, uh, I mean, it, for me, it's just an amazing journey and the production of the Finnish uh, Eurovision is, uh, it's just on such a high level and I'm, I'm, I'm totally thankful. Mm -hmm. And one last question. What would you say to the young artists that have been trying uh, to get to represent their country? I uh, I would say that if if it didn't work out, please try again. I mean, they probably got a lot of talent, and uh, it's just sometimes in this world in this business, there might be that you are just one millimeter missing from getting to the local finals or wherever to to a competition so please please do not give up because uh, I there even might be that some people have have got a glimpse of you and they just want you to push harder and come again next year so never ever give up because uh, you know when no one's gonna give it to you around the silver platter so just just mm -hmm. keep, keep on doing that and whenever you hear a bit you know comments which like bring you down. I mean, these are just jealous people. Just, you know, and listen to your heart. That's beautiful. Plus it's fun as you're describing your experience. It seems a fun process all over again. It, it is, it's totally fun. <laughs> it's hard work <laughs> and fun at the same time. Yes, yes. So Laura, thank you so much for your time. We know that you are a busy person, so you must have a lot of things <laughs> to get back to. No, thank you. Please. Thank you for finding the time to meet us today and we wish you all the best in your new musical endeavors. Thank you so much and stay safe and all the love to you. Okay, bye. Ciao, ciao.